I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals and life science graduates on how they can make career into pharmaceutical industry. Till date, we have guided and trained more than 500 students and many of them are now placed into various companies also under my guidance. Also, I want to tell you that beware of fake people who are operating under the name of Career in Pharma or by my name. So to connect with us, please see the description below for all the links and also you can see the mail ID provided in the description box. Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss about the topic Medra, which is very important question for pharmacovigilance job. If you are going to give job for any role, for freshers, for experience, whatever it is, Medra is the most important question, default question, which any interviewer will ask you. So today in this video, whatever I'm going to discuss about Medra is in relation to freshers. Okay. Because if you are experienced, you can be asked further details also, but Whatever I'm going to discuss is just for fresher, fresher who are looking for job inside pharmacovigilance safety, they should be knowing this thing about Medra for sure. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, what is full form of Medra? So the full form of Medra is Medical Dictionary for Regulatory Activities. So full form is Medical Dictionary for Regulatory Activities. Just you know, uh, just mug, mug up this full form, which is very important, which is common. They will start with full form only. Now, what is definition of METRA? So METRA is a clinically validated, clinically validated, okay, validated clinically and international medical terminologies used by all regulatory authorities across the world and biopharmaceutical industry, regulated biopharmaceutical industry who are regulated through regulatory authorities. And METRA is used throughout the regulatory process from pre-marketing to post-marketing of any product. Means it starts from clinical trial up to post-marketing surveillance of the drug and it helps in data entry, retrieval, evaluation and presentation. And also Medra is a standardized medical terminology. This is very important concept for Medra. It is standardized uniform. It means whatever you code with the help of Medra, depending on whatever country you are using it, it is a uniform and a standardized medical terminology. Coding will be same across all regulatory authorities, across all countries, across all databases. That Standardization is a very important concept of Medra and Medra is owned by ICH which is, which is International Council for Homologization. So another question can be uh, who uh, owns Medra. So Medra is owned by International Council for Homologization and uh, it's like a standardized medical dictionary. Now why there is the requirement of Medra? Okay, why, why Medra is needed? First of all, for uniformity and standardization. Second, it is internationally acceptable. Okay, universally acceptable. So international applicability is there and it is supported by both regulatory authorities and biopharmaceutical industry. And it, it is having broader coverage of health data. It is more specific and it structures its its structure is such like that it support analysis and presentation of the data it is centrally and externally maintained and it is compatible with all it system and tools that why is that uh, that why medra is in use now what is the rationale for using metra what is the rationale behind using metra is it enhances global standardization and universal harmonization Across regulatory agency, we can use any regulatory body and uh, multinational pharmaceutical company also it's in use. It is necessary throughout the product life cycle from preclinical clinical to post-marketing surveillance of any product. 
it is necessary for electronic data transfer whenever we are transferring the data in the form of electronic data then uh, through metra coding it helps in transfer and it avoid translation distortion and error across countries and it provides a classification for a wide range of clinical information and able to support for multiple medical product area now i will tell you what is the scope of metra so in this way interviewer can ask you what is the scope another way is what all things we can code with the help of metra so basically metra is a coding dictionary coding for what coding for any disease term okay any disease medical history surgical history uh, for disease we can say adverse event terms and it can code any indication indication for any product and past medical history surgical history disease conditions and also laboratory data okay please remember we are not coding any drug with metra we are coding disease conditions medical history surgical history allergy history laboratory data past surgical history therapeutic indications means indications of any drug for example if ibrutinib is used for cll then cll is the indication for ibrutinib so cll we will code with the help of metra but ibrutinib which is a drug will be coded with the help of some another dictionary that is drug dictionary that is not under metra so metra is not for coding drug yeah so these are the scope of metra or the th terms which we can use uh, which you can code with the help of metra now who is using metra so metra is universally used by all the countries and the regulatory authorities worldwide countries regulatory authorities and biopharmaceutical companies yeah now another important question about metra is how frequently metra gets update and what is the current version of metra and when the major updates happens because the metra is a living dictionary living dictionary means it is which requires frequent updation yeah it is living dictionary not static it's a living dictionary so frequent updation is required inside metra that's why metra requires updation twice in a year okay so metra updates happens bi annually the first update happens in the month of march which is the major update and the second update happens in september okay and the current version of metra is in use is 25.1 okay so i will give you an example so in in the year 2023 sorry 22 last year first update happened on march that was the major update and that time the version of metra was 25.0 now the second update happened was in september 2022 and at that time after updation the version was 25.1 now whatever whatever update is will happen in march 2023 will be the major update for this year and the version will be 26 26.0 okay and in again september 2023 it will be 26.1 so that's how metra gets update and that's how we use this version number okay now who maintains metra yeah first of all being a healthcare professionals who are working inside industry uh, medical reviewers they are giving inputs to update whatever updates is required whatever new information medical concept needs to be added inside metra all the inputs will be given by those healthcare professionals and at the back end the maintenance of metra is done by mso that is maintenance and support services organization so mso is the body who maintains metra full form is maintenance and support services organization okay so metra is a hierarchical multi axial multilingual and it's regularly updated and maintained by mso yeah so this is about who maintains metra now little bit another important question is what is the hierarchy in metra see first of all uh, there are five 
फाइव लेवल्स ऑफ हायर की इट्स लाइक अ पिरामिडल स्ट्रक्चर एंड हायर की इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेकेनिज्म फॉर फ्लेक्सिबल डेटा रिव्यूअर एंड क्लियर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेटा सो वी हैव फाइव लेवल ऑफ हायर की इन दिस मेट्रा and which starts with uh, on the top there is system organ class then there is high level group term hlgt then we have high level term hlt then we have pt that is preferred term and on the bottom is llt that is lowest level term so system organ class the top most in the hierarchy is uh, wide containing wide medical concept broader medical concept and it's not very specific but going down to hierarchy that is llt lowest level term is very specific specificity is more in down and uh, the top one that is system organ class is like a broader concept okay so this is about the hierarchy inside uh, metra now i will give you an example let's say there is a llt that is lowest level term of uh, let's say reported term is like neutropenia or neutropenia aggravated then in that case the llt will be uh, sorry the hlt will be neutropenia high level group term will be wbc disorder and system organ class that is more broader concept will be blood and lymphatic system disorder so now i hope you can understand what i mean by specificity see neutropenia is very specific in the entire blood content we are talking about neutrophils so llt which is very specific neutropenia but system organ classes for neutropenia is blood and lymphatic system disorder so inside blood there are various components we don't know which compound we are talking about so it is broader and llt which is neutropenia talking about neutrophils which is very specific okay so this is about hierarchy inside metra okay so these are at a very fresh level these are the only things full form who maintains uh, metra uh, who own metra and why we are using metra another thing is uh, what is the frequency of updation of metra current version of metra in use what is the scope of metra means what all things we can code with the help of metra hierarchy inside metra what are what are the different levels of uh, metra from system organ class bottom one is lowest level term and which one is more specific which one showing you broader concept that all these questions can be asked and if you know this this is like more than sufficient at a fresher level okay so i hope uh, uh, guys i am able to tell you about the Uh, very important question metra and about what it is and uh, will be coming soon with some fresh next video and uh, please if you like this video please subscribe to our channel please share this video with your friends who are looking for job inside pharmaco vigilance because this metra is one of the most important question default question in any interview they will ask for sure yeah So now we'll be coming soon with some fresh next video till then stay safe healthy aware and updated and we'll be meeting soon with some next fresh video thank you